what is going on guys, I'm Mike Ghost here and today I am bringing you a commentary about the new game Titanfall which will be coming out to next gen consoles. But before I talk about that I want to quickly discuss my audio settings for my commentaries. I have recently changed the way I record my commentaries. Before I was using um, Windows Sound Recorder, now I'm using Soundforge by Sony to do my commentaries. This is because it's a lot easier to do it this way and also I could edit my commentaries, take out a lot of the background noise I was getting and also to make my voice sound better because for some reason it was getting picked up as too high pitched. So now it should be a lot more mono, it shouldn't be as um, squawky and it shouldn't be popping as much. So hopefully these new sound settings are good and you enjoy them and it makes the commentaries a lot better. Now getting back to Titanfall. What is Titanfall? Well it is a first person shooter. A very fast paced first person shooter by Respawn Entertainment. Now if you guys don't know, I am presuming you already know, this was created by the people who work for Infinity Ward and were very influential in Modern Warfare 2. Now they left Infinity Ward for various reasons and they have formed their own company called Respawn Entertainment. So these guys have a great track record and experience in building or inspiring first person shooters. Now back to this game in particular, one of the amazing features of the game, which is different from all other first person shooters, is the fact that it is purely a multiplayer game. Now, it isn't like Call of Duty where you just run around and kill people. It actually embeds iconic traditional elements that would be expected from say campaign mode in other games. So yes, you are playing a multiplayer game, but there's also events that go on and traditional points that would be associated with normal campaign mode. So you're kind of getting the best of both worlds all in one. Now as I said above it is a fast paced game which invites a lot of diverse play styles and constantly dynamically changing battles because of the options during the game. The flow and the balance of a match can always be changed. You have so many different options, you can run around and shoot people, you can get into a titan, you know, you can fight the other team, you can attack and defend. Like, the way the gameplay works, it basically means that it gives you a lot of options for going forwards and a lot of options for defending, which aren't associated with other games. It's a lot more flexible, which I think is better for the player in general, because you don't feel like you're trapped in a situation that you can't get out of and it also means that you can play uniquely. Now this game is probably one of the first which would incorporate all player styles and give you this unique gaming experience. As you can see it is amazing graphically and the gameplay seems accurate, exciting and intense. Now guys, you know these are the attributes that all first person shooter games should have. I mean yes, Call of Duty, it can be exciting, it can be intense, but the shooting isn't always accurate. Whereas this game, it seems like these guys have taken off where they were in Modern Warfare 2, where they had a really really great um, first person shooter and created something else, yes it's set in the future, but equally another game that we could all enjoy. Currently, it is planned that Titanfall will be Xbox One only, but EA recently, in the last few days, have hinted that it is a timed exclusive. So what does this mean? It means that at some point, this game will be released on the PS4. Now, do not hold me to this, because this is, um just a rumour and I don't want to get your hopes up or anything but from what I've heard there is a chance that this game might be on the PS4 so for all you Sony boys out there this is really good news because it is one of them games that could be a deal breaker in what console you get. So don't decide upon what console you want yet because 
you know, it's an ever-changing scenario. And you may find that you can actually get this game on the PS4. So if this is one of the reasons why you're getting the Xbox One, then please do hold up and wait. You know, but um, other than that, the game, it seems absolutely amazing. I'm sure you guys enjoy it. I'm really excited by it and I really do hope it's on the PS4 because that's what I'll be getting because I don't really like the look of the Xbox One. So what else is there to say? Well, not a lot. It looks like an amazingly fun game that will be enjoyed by all first person shooter fans. And you know guys, as always, like, comment, share and subscribe. I know it just seems slightly rushed but trust me it isn't, there isn't a lot more I can say. I hope you enjoyed the commentary. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay and my next video will be about Destiny which is another first person shooter coming along. So stay tuned guys, thanks for your support, hope the audio was a bit better and peace out. Working. We just need to buy McAllen and Barker a little more time. Thank you. 